Hi everyone, in this video we are going to talk about maternal adaptation in the pregnancy. It's actually a very huge topic but we are going to see only only important aspects from every system starting from the weight. Now, during the pregnancy BMR body metabolic rate increases by 10 to 20 percent. Now, Total water retention during pregnancy is almost around 6.5 liters. So what we are seeing here is retention of water. There are re retention of other ions also for example sodium and potassium and chloride. But still the water retention is more than the salt retention. retention. So what happens is actually osmolality of overall blood it decreases because of this more water retention now uh, per day extra calorie in, uh, requirement of mother is 350 on an average 350 k, uh, kilocalorie per day okay now in, in 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 total pregnancy the expected weight gain is 11 to 12 kg for a normal bmi patient uh, for example if the bmi of a lady is more than 30 and he is seriously she is obese then uh, the weight should be less than 7 kg to be in, uh, increased more than 7 kg increase in this kind of patients may be lead to morbid obesity and uh, lead to hypertension and obviously uh, gdm like things now let's come to hemopoietic system in hemopoiesis in blood system uh, these parameters are increased and these parameters uh, parameters are decreased which parameter increases uh, blood volume total blood volume increases by 40 percent and in this 40 percent plasma volume increases by 40 to 50 percent so you can uh, you can know this thing that plasma increases more than the rbc volume see rbc volume increases only by only 20 to 30 percent so what happens is actually the concentration of rbc decreases in blood so decrease pcv in blood and if if there is a decrease in pcv there is a decrease in hematocrit and even hb viscosity of the blood also decreases now hemoglobin levels are naturally decreasing in pregnancy it's not like that hemoglobin is less but hemoglobin's total mass is uh, increased is um, a very good mass increases during pregnancy but the concentration of hb decreases because of more and more water retention and plasma uh, improve in improve in plasma levels now o2 carrying capacity also increases wbc can also go to 15000 which is can be taken as a normal immunity there is a shift between t uh, t helper cell 1 to t helper cell 2 t helper cell 1 immunity is a t cell dependent immunity cell immunity and uh, t helper cell 2 dependent immunity is a humoral immunity what happens in pregnancy is increasing T2 shift. Okay, so humoral immunity increases. Inflammatory markers like CRP also increases in the pregnancy. There is generalized platelet de decrease in platelet counts also. Pregnancy is a hypercoagulable state. Why? Because of decreases in T coagulant activity in the blood. Now. Let's go to cardiovascular system. In cardiovascular system, the same we have uh, uh, same topic are there. This parameter will increase and this parameter will decrease. Which parameter parameters increased in pregnancy? Cardiac output increases by fifty percent. Fifty percent of cardiac output increases by the 20, 32 year, uh, weeks of pregnancy. Okay, and and, uh, and again cardiac output will again increase in labor it increases in third stage of labor and immediate postpartum period cardiac output is highest it increases by just double 90 percent 100 percent so uh, chances of cardiac failure is also very 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 high in post immediate postpartum in case of previous heart disease femoral venous pressure is also increased in pregnancy because of the uterus developing uterus is uh, pressurizing the ivc bp generally decreases in the pregnancy if there is no eclampsia 
peripheral vascular resistance also decreases you can see here cardiac output increases 40 to 50 percent at 32 weeks 40 to 50 percent at 32 weeks and it actually decreases then uh, uh, till the term after delivery within two weeks the cardiac output comes to normal cardiac output is maximum in immediate postpartum period because of the developing uterus the heart is just uh, displaced it displays uh, somehow upwards, outwards and slight rotation to the left. If we talk about heart sound, S1, there is a splittage in S1. S2 heart sound is absolutely normal but S3 her, is heard very loud. There is all over memory murmur and uh, maybe grade 2 systolic ejection murmur because of increased cardiac output and increased the cardiac work. ECG left axis deviation is there because of the left shape, left word shape of the heart. Okay, now let's go to the respiratory part. In in because of the developing uterus, bigger uterus, the the respiratory diaphragm is going upwards, pushed upwards. So what happens? But the total lung capacity is is never decreased. Why? So because of increase in the transverse and anterior anterior posterior diameter the all over volume of our lungs remains same that's why total lung capacity is same what decreases in to total lung capacity is decrease in res uh, reserve volumes residual volume and inspiratory reserve uh, sorry expiratory reserve volume this expiratory reserve volume Sorry, my fault here. Uh, it's expiratory. It's expiratory reserve volume, not inspiratory. Expiratory reserve volume and overall residual volume decreases, and to, uh, and uh, tidal volume and inspiratory reserve volume increases. There is a generalized respiratory alkalosis, but the but the respiratory rate is never higher respiratory rate is constant now let's go to the renal uh, changes in renal changes pelvic ial, pelvic ICL dilation is there because of the uterus the pressure effect it dilates the ureters and the, the back force of urine will dilate the pe uh, pelvic of the kidneys okay now what what things are increased renal blood flow increased by 50 percent it's because of cardiac output if the renal blood flow is increased by 50 percent then the obviously the gfr grf glomerular filtration rate is going to be increased same 50 percent creatinine clearance is also increased glycosuria should be there what things are decreased because of rapid clearance serum creatinine urea uric acid decreases plasma osmolality also decreases why because there is a retention of water now uh, very important thing iron iron parameters what about iron parameters two things actually increases in pregnancy that is total iron binding capacity and serum transferrin this both these things are increased otherwise everything else decreases for example serum iron decreases serum ferritin decreases saturation also decreases iron saturation also decreases now let me talk about genital organs uh, when we talk about genital organs in these things we talk about vagina uterus like this so in vagina the the mucosa is edemous more vascular and bluish hue is there so it is uh, so the sign chadwick sign or jack Weimar signs is same now in uterus we have uh, the comparison of non-pregnant uterus and pregnant uterus in non-pregnant uterus it is 70 gram of weight while the pregnant uterus at term it's almost 1000 grams but the 1 kg kilogram the length of the uterus is 7.5 centimeter in non-pregnant state 7.5 in non-pregnant state but it is almost about 35 centimeter in pregnant state. 
The capacity of the uterine cavity is hardly 10 ml in non-pregnant state, but it increases to 5 liters, 500 ml, 5000 ml at the term pregnancy. The shape of the uterus is also different. Generally, the shape of the uterus is piriforms, but in the pregnancy, during early pregnancy, it is a piriform state, and then becomes globular, and again at the term pregnancy, it becomes again piriform shape. What about uteroplacenta blood flow? The maximum at the term it is 500 to 750. 500 to 750 ml per minute at term. So it is a very high uterine blood flow at the term. So this is the reason of PPH if it is not controlled well. Position of the uterus is the dextro rotated. Why it is dextro rotated? Because the sigmoid colon is there in the left side so it has to dextro rotate and uh, that's why the cervix is levo rotated. The external hex contractions. These contractions are they, this contraction occur in second trimester. They are regular rhythmic contraction. They are not painful. Remember, they are not painful. And the maximum uh, pressure they generate is 5 to 25 mm HG almost. This contraction, Braxton Hicks contraction, becomes more and more longer, more and more painful at the end of the pregnancy the top pregnancy and they just converted into the uterine contractions. Now the Ferguson reflex. Ferguson reflex is nothing but when you touch the uterus, sorry, when you touch the cervix, it, it sends the signals into the uterine muscle and uterine muscle di uh, contracts. That is Ferguson reflex. It is seen there. Now what is LUS? LUS is lower uterine segment. Lower uterine segment big, uh, is, a, uh, is a segment of uterus in labor uh, in laboral pregnancy for example when the patient is in labor if you see the uterus the lower uterine segment uh, in which 70 percent of the lus made by the isthmus of the uterus and 30 percent of the lus is made by cervix so if you see the lus is almost about 5 to 10 centimeter at the top and the importance of the LUS is that we are giving incision in cesarean section in this region. The cervix becomes soft and that is called good sign. Our bilateral ovaries remain silent because of there is a very less amount of FSH and LH is there because of the hyper estrogenic hyper progesteronic state. The pregnancy that's why the FSH and LH are readily decreased in the pregnancy so that they don't stimulate the ovaries so the ovary remains silent hardly any follicle you can see breast generally size increases and tenderness also increases from 16 weeks you can find some milk in there now come to the skin Closma gravi uh, gravidarum. Closma gravidarum is nothing but a very rash around the cheek of the uh, pregnancy, not so called pregnancy mask. It's seen in cheeks, foreheads, like that, around the eyes, due to hyperestrogenic state, hyperhormone states. Linea nigra is a brownish black pigmented area in the midline of the abdomen. It looks like a very midline, blackish midline. It just disappears after pregnancy. Stria gravidarum is the marks, the, the finger-like projection, the finger-like marks on the skin. It is due to mechanical stretching of the skin. And when the pregnancy is over, the mechanical stretch is gone, the, the marks are becomes uh, purely white and it remains on the uh, abdomen for a long time after pregnancy. If we talk about liver, liver, in liver, there is no increase in size or decrease in size of the liver. Various enzymes uh, are there in which alkaline phosphate enzyme increases because of the estrogen extract and also produce, it is produced by placenta. 
in pregnancy all other enzymes should be decreased but it is in if it is increased then it going to be the ihcp intrahepatic pregnancy cholestasis now mild cholestasis is always there in the pregnancy let's come to the supine hypotension syndrome uh, when the lady lies when the pregnant lady lies supine the uterus just gives a pressure effect on the inferior vena cava and because of uh, inferior vena cava is getting obstructed the heart gets less less uh, blood return so the cardiac output decreases heart rate increases and the symptoms of hypotension is are there so the all pregnant ladies advised to lie left lateral carbohydrate mechanism see the, the main food of baby a fetus is glucose and in 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 term to get the glucose to the baby the mother glucose level should be higher and how this is happens this is happens because of insulin resistance the the various hormones of placenta for example hpl increases the insulin resistance into the mother that's why more and more glucose is available in the blood vessel blood of the mother in serum of the mother and that can be transferred to the fetus efficiently one thing is very noted here is the maximum insulin resistance is at 24 to 28 weeks so if you are if you want to test gdm diabetes in pregnancy gestational diabetes you must test the woman at 24 to 28 weeks now there are no major changes in cns but yes there is hyperpituitary matlab pituitary uh, the, the weight of the pituitary the size of the pituitary increases uh, by 100% because of repeatedly constant stimulation of the uh, pituitary by estrogen and progesterone the prolactin also increases in the pregnancy about 10 times and this very efficiently to of sign off thank you